Hi there, this is Dr. Mark Weirman, and this is going to be a brief video on external and internal respiration. When the deoxygenated blood returns to the lungs through the pulmonary arteries, the partial pressure of oxygen will be 40, and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide will be 45. The partial pressure of oxygen in the alveoli will be 100, and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide will be 40. Oxygen will move into the blood, and then carbon dioxide will move out into the lung through diffusion. This diffusion will continue until partial pressure of oxygen will be 100 in the blood and partial pressure of carbon dioxide will be lower at 40. The oxygenated blood will now move through the left side of the heart and be pumped out through the body. The partial pressures of oxygen and carbon dioxide will still be at 140 respectively. The partial pressure of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the interstitial fluid around cells will be 40 and 45. At the slow flow of the capillaries, the oxygen will diffuse into the interstitial fluid and the carbon dioxide will diffuse back into the venule end of the capillaries. This will create deoxygenated blood in the bloodstream to be pumped back to the right side of the heart and back to the lungs to continue external respiration all over again. To understand how much oxygen is actually being delivered, we need to look at the oxyhemoglobin disassociation curve. This curve shows the affinity hemoglobin has for oxygen based upon the partial pressure of oxygen. For example, when the partial pressure of oxygen is 40, the hemoglobin will be saturated at 75%. And when the partial pressure of oxygen is 100, hemoglobin will be saturated at 98% or near 100%. Using the disassociation curve, we can determine that each hemoglobin will deliver one oxygen during internal respiration. However, if these cells start to do more work, some variables are going to change. With an increase in metabolism, the cells will utilize more oxygen, which reduces the partial pressure of oxygen to 20 in the interstitial fluid. When the partial pressure of oxygen is 20, that means it's 35% full, which means we have delivered more oxygen to the working cells. Once again, this used blood will return to the lungs to fill back up with oxygen. The increase in metabolism, the cells will make more carbon dioxide. This increases the partial pressure of carbon dioxide to 50. The temperature will also increase in the area as well as the pH will lower. These variables will have an effect on the dissociation curve and they will shift it to the right. The right shift caused by the pH is called the Bohr effect. The right shift on the disassociation curve decreases the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen, which means more oxygen is going to be delivered. So in this instance, three oxygens will be delivered per hemoglobin to the working cells. This has been a brief overview of the external and internal respiration, and I hope it helps you. Thank you.